Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have two creative ideas using air dry clay. I am also going to show you a leaf impression method to make a jewelry tree and an antique wall decor. So let's get started. First, let's make a DIY clay jewelry tray. I am using Fevicryl molded air dry clay for this project. Shape the clay into a ball and flatten it. Then roll it out onto a flat surface. Now take any green leaf you like and gently press it onto the clay to get the impression of the leaf. Cut the clay into the shape of the leaf. Place aluminium foil below the clay to lift the sides and let it sit for a few minutes. After that, carefully remove the leaf from the clay. You will see a beautiful leaf impression on the clay. So leave it to dry. Once it dries, use sandpaper to rub the edges and make them smooth. Now color the DIY craft using acrylic colors. You can choose any colors you like. I am using metallic golden color for this project. Look at this beautiful golden plate. I have also made different types of plates using the same technique. Next, I have molded the clay into a round shape. Now take a leaf and gently press it onto the clay. Then remove the leaf slowly. You will see a good impression on the clay. Mold it into a small plate shape. Choose your desired color and paint it. I am using green color and adding a metallic golden touch. I have also made another one using the same technique as before but this time I have painted it with a yellow and brown combination adding some golden shades. After the paint dries, give it a coat of varnish. For the yellow tray, while giving varnish, I have sprinkled some golden shining powder. It looks beautiful, right? And there you have it, the final look of these clay trees. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Now, let's move on to the second DIY. Take an air dry clay ball, flatten it and roll it out on a flat surface. Use a shape cutter of your choice. I am using a sharpener cover with a star shape. Use a toothpick to make a small hole at the top and also to add some details. Next, take some clay and flatten it on the surface. Cut a piece of paper into a leaf shape and use it as a template to cut the clay into the same pattern. Make a hole at the top. Now prepare some beads using the same clay and pass a toothpick through them to create holes. Moving on, take acrylic wall putty, mix a little bit of water to thin it out and fill it into a cone. Use the cone to make different designs on the leaf shaped clay and allow it to dry. Next, paint all the tiny shapes in black color. Then use golden color to add details to the shapes.
For hangings, I am using jute thread. The hanging pattern is as follows. At the corner, hang only the leaf shape and a bead. And for the next one, hang one star shape, one bead and the clay leaf shape. For the center piece, tie four stars, one bead and two leaves. Follow the pattern as I have shown in the sketch. This is the final look of the antique wall hanging. Did you like this DIY? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then keep crafting. Bye bye.